Yaho! Hey everyone! And aka Apricot Sushi here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my Japanese Game Boy Advance game collection. This is a collection that contains 19, if I counted correctly, Japanese Game Boy Advance games that are complete in box. That means I've got the cartridge, the manual, and the box. I mainly collect these because I think the Game Boy Advance box art is super cute. They have all these great details in the Japanese ones. And I don't, as a result, have a lot of the mainstream titles. So hopefully you'll see some stuff that you haven't really seen before. So let's get into it. First up, we've got Pokemon Pinball. This is the Ruby and Sapphire edition. So not exactly a very niche title. I'm sure you've heard of this one, but it's got the most adorable box art ever. Really colorful, great graphics. I'm going to show you the size of the boxes so you can see how everything's branded and open up some of these that I think might have cute details. Yeah, I like this one, the little Pokeball on the flap. They just put so much detail into these boxes, I can't believe it. I wish they still did stuff like this. Whoop. So I don't have the game in this one. That doesn't mean I don't have the game, it's just not in the box right now. <laughs> so I probably put it somewhere because I was playing it. Anyway, here's the manual. Again, really colorful and cute. Make sure to get my Game Boy Advance games complete in box because I like all of the little parts that they include. Next, we have Kawa no Nushisuri 3 and 4. These are the River King games, or I think Harvest Fishing is what it's called, maybe in Europe. I haven't actually played these before, but I really want to check it out. It's like a fishing RPG, I think. And anyway, it's got a really cute box. This comes with the third and fourth games in the series. No detail on the flap, but that's okay. The box more than makes up for it. Next, we have Mangaka Debut Monogatari. This is a game about becoming a manga illustrator, so you can draw pictures in it, I think. And there seems to be some kind of dating element as well because there are a lot of boys. So <laughs> I haven't played this one either, but I love the box art and I think I got it really cheap, like a couple hundred yen. So I had to pick it up. Now I know this next game has dating in it. This is Angelique, which is considered the first ever Otome game. So you play a female character and can date a variety of different male characters. This is the Game Boy Advance port of the Super Famicom game. That's what it originally came out for. And I don't think it's really enhanced in any way. It's just the portable version. So there's the cartridge. And I really wanted to show you the booklet because this one comes with stickers. I love that in Japan, even when you buy used things, they often come with the original bonuses. Look at these gorgeous stickers. They're pristine. I'm never going to use them. <laughs> anyway, the booklet is super gorgeous too. They had a manga illustrator do the character designs for this game. And yeah, the art is just great. Obviously that art's not in the game, but that's okay. It's still a really fun game if you ever want to play an old Otome game. I highly recommend it. Next, we've got a Hamtaro game. This is Hamtaro 3. I haven't played any of these before, but you can imagine that if I've got a collection of cute Japanese GBA boxes, I'm going to have at least one Hamtaro game. I would love to pick the other ones up too, because I'm sure they're equally cute. <laughs> And I think this, yep, it's got some really cute flap designs on this one with the little hamsters. Oh, they're so cute. The details are just amazing in these boxes, and this one's very pristine, as you can see. I only started this collection a few years ago, too, maybe like five years ago, so everything has been bought pretty recently. There's the booklet. So cute. There are so many different characters. <laughs> I had no idea there were so many hamsters. I haven't actually played this one yet, but it is definitely on my list because it looks like a lot of fun. And there's that. And on the back, we've got this little devil hamster. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Next, we've got Ohana Yasan Monogatari, which sounds a lot like the mangaka one that I mentioned earlier, but they don't seem to be in the same series, at least they look very different. But anyways, this is about a flower shop, so you run a flower shop and there are some cute boys, so I think there's a bit of dating, but this is a more of a sim, gardening sim than dating sim, I think. 
Well, I'll just pull it out for you. You can see there's the cartridge and oh, this is a good opportunity to show you that actually the games originally come in this little plastic baggie. So when you would buy a game brand new in Japan, it would come in the plastic bag. Not all of them have that, but some of the ones I have do, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and where's the booklet? There we go. So this is TDK. I think we saw them earlier. Actually, it might have been the manga Monogatari. Maybe they are the same <laughs> series. They very well could be. Again, this one was one that I picked up for very cheap, just a couple of bucks. So even though I didn't know anything about it, I picked it up on a whim anyway. <laughs> Okay, next we've got Rhythm Tengoku, or Rhythm Heaven, which I'm sure you all have heard of. This is the first game in the series, which was never released outside of Japan. But if you ever feel like importing it, it has like no text whatsoever, <laughs> pretty much. So you can pretty much figure out how to play it, especially if you've played the other Rhythm Heaven games. Fortunately, this one has a bit of a price sticker on the back that I couldn't get off. And the box is a bit beat up, but I'm okay with that. Don't need them to be pristine. Okay, and this one is special too because it also has stickers and I also seem to have misplaced the cartridge. It's probably in my other carry pouch. <laughs> anyway, so I'll show you the manual and the stickers I got because these are awesome. Check that out. Never used. Sorry, it doesn't seem to be focusing though. Come on. There we go, I think that's a bit better. Anyway, so it's got two sheets of stickers, not one, but two of all the characters in the game. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, this is the same sheet. So it's the same sheet twice, which is pretty cool because I never want to use stickers that I get with games or other things because I don't want to waste them, you know? But if you've got a backup, then why not, right? <laughs> no, I probably won't use them anyway, let's be honest. Anyway, this is a very cool manual. It's like a little accordion. And if you notice, they've got the Game Boy Micro in the manual. So that means that this game came out pretty late in the GBA's life. I'm not sure what year it came out off the top of my head, but it's always interesting to see what version of the console they put in the manual. So you kind of have an idea of when it came out in the console's life cycle. They don't really do that anymore because we don't have annuals anymore. <laughs> oh, how sad. Anyway, here is a Puzzle Bobble game, Super Puzzle Bobble Advance. This is another one I bought just for the box art, but it's in pretty bad shape. I got it off of eBay for maybe 10 bucks or something, not a lot of money. And it's got a bit of a rip on the back here, which is unfortunate, but at least we can still see the super cute box art. That's all that matters. <laughs> Yeah, pretty, pretty beat. So, oh, there we go. So I'll keep moving or else this will take forever. What's next? Uh, this tomato adventure is brand new. As you can see, I got it for 1,500 yen, which is more or less $15 sealed, brand new copy. And for that cheap and with that cute of box art, I had to get it. I believe Tomato Adventure is an RPG with an adorable name and lots of characters with names related to food or fruit, I think. I kind of feel torn about this one. I don't know that I want to open it. I don't particularly care, as I said, about getting sealed copies or pristine copies, but the fact that I did get this one brand new makes me kind of apprehensive to open it. <laughs> Okay, this one is called Puku Puku Tennen Kairan Ban Illusion, uh, Yokoso Illusion Nandoe. So, welcome to Illusion Land. This is a game that is based off of a girl's manga series about pets, dogs, I think, specifically, as you can tell. There are a lot of games in this series for the GBA, I think. I've seen a bunch of them, but this is the only one I've picked up so far. I'll probably have to get the others. It reminds me kind of of Hamtaro. Same style, cute animals doing cute things, you know. <laughs> so there we go, there's the adorable booklet. And just take a look at some of the pictures inside. Like, look at this, they've got little strawberries. Oh my gosh. I wonder what the manga is like. I don't know the manga personally, so I have no idea, but oh, so cute. 
I love all the dogs and there are hamsters it looks like too in this one <laughs> unless they're dogs that look like hamsters I don't know <laughs> and there's the back again lots of cute details but no flap detail on this one Next, we have Senen Kazoku, or a Thousand Year Family. So this is a simulation game where you not only play as one family, but you play as multiple generations of that family, theoretically for a thousand years, I guess. <laughs> the box is really cute. And the graphics in this game are really great, too. Anyway, let's open it up and take a look at the booklet, because I know it has some really good art in it. So I think this one, yep, it's got the cartridge in the bag again. And here's the booklet. Oh, that art is so cute. I love the pixel style. <laughs> again, I haven't played this one, as you <laughs> have heard many times. I've probably only played a few of my GBA games. I really would like a Game Boy Advance SP, like that one there, so I could play more of these easily. Actually, the only thing I have that plays GBA games, well, my DS can, but I have a GBA Micro, which I love, but it's not really good for playing stuff for a long period of time because it's so tiny. <laughs> okay, this one is called Himawari Dobutsu Byoin, so uh, Sunflower Animal Hospital. Actually, come to think of it, the plaid sort of pink and yellow pattern on the back of this box looks a lot like that mangaka monogatari one that I showed you earlier on. They seem to be into pink plaid for girls. <laughs> All the cute little animals. I think this one was actually localized into English under a totally different name, but I don't remember it. And here we go. I'm sure you know Harvest Moon or Bokujo Monogatari. This one is Friends of Mineral Town. And I haven't actually played it before, though I have played Harvest Moon games before, just not this one. And I even actually have the guidebook for this. I bought it in Brisbane, of all places. I found it in a local used bookstore, which was so funny. So I've got the Japanese guide for this Game Boy Advance version. I thought that was some crazy serendipity <laughs> to find it here. So here's the booklet. I got some pamphlets. Oh, this is cool. Let's see which game this is. Another Harvest Moon game, Bokujo Monogatari, for the GameCube. I really like seeing old ads, it's a lot of fun. So we got that, and then this booklet here. Looks like you can link it with the GameCube. I never had a GameCube, so I've never done any of that stuff. And this has got the original Game Boy Advance model in it, so it must be an older GBA game. <laughs> And there you go. More cute stuff. All too cute. Next up is Harukanaru Toki no Nakade. This is another Otome game by Koi. They are the same folks that did Angelique. But this one has some RPG elements in it. So you're a girl who's transported to a magical world, you know, <laughs> that, that usual story. And there are lots of cool guys who've sworn to protect you and help you with your quest or some such. Anyway, this one, I believe, actually, I'm not sure if this one comes with stickers or not. So sorry, the camera is not focusing very well, but there we go. So let's check it out. I don't know if this bag is how the manual originally came or if someone put it in here later on. So that's a mystery. It's only really hard enough to get out though. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's a booklet. Same art as the cover. And again, some really gorgeous manga style art. I assume they probably also got a manga illustrator to do this game, but I don't know quite as much about Harutoki as I do Angelique. I've done a lot of research on Angelique, <laughs> so not entirely sure. I've only played the fourth game in the series, so I haven't played this first one yet. Let's take a look at this, um, what are these called, feedback cards. I think it's really cool that you can get these with used copies of games still. If it will come out, oh my gosh, <laughs> there we go. So these would give the developers or the company information about the people that were playing their games. So you would fill this out and you could return it in the mail. 
on Japanese though, but it's kind of cool to look at. Most of the games come with these. I think you've probably seen them in the ones I've unboxed already. Now for another game I bought entirely on a whim. Sweet cookie pie, sweet -o cookie pie. <laughs> this is obviously a baking game, cooking game, chef game of some sort. You've probably noticed that a lot of these cutesy games for probably a younger girl audience tend to be cheaper, so I bought a lot of them and they're really cute, but I don't know how good the games are. Again, I haven't played them, but I will try them out sometime. Now here's a really exciting one, Chocobo Land Game of Dice. This is a Chocobo Final Fantasy inspired board game, I believe. Haven't booted it up. No, I have booted it up once and I thought, oh, this is, I don't know, a bit intense because <laughs> there are a lot of board game rules, so I didn't play it at the time. It's got a sticker on it, but other than that, the box is in pretty good shape. And we've got to take a look because, oh, no flap art but I'm sure there will be a lot of cute art in the manual, so I want to check it out. Oh, and the cartridge is really cute too. Look at that. There he is, Chocobo. I love the Chocobo games. They're so adorable. I feel like there hasn't been one in a while though. There's the booklet. It will focus. It's getting a bit dark over here, so I think the camera's having a hard time. Sorry about that. There's the adorable art. Some of the characters, I think these are the different characters you can play as in the board game. And this one must have come out pretty earlier in the GBA's life because you've got the original GBA model in the example there. Looks like you can link between different GBA consoles to play multiplayer, which is pretty cool. Speaking of board games, here's Sushigi no Kuni no Angelique or Angelique of the Mysterious Country. Um, this is the name of Alice in Wonderland is Fushigi no Kuni no Arisu in Japanese. So this is sort of an Alice in Wonderland inspired Angelique game. As you know from earlier, Angelique is the Otome game series, but this is a board game spinoff, like <laughs> the Chocobo board game I just showed you. I really like the box art on this one, so I had to pick it up even though I'm not sure how fun the board game itself will be. I haven't tried it yet, so I'll have to report back on that. But check these out. They've got stickers again, and these are even cuter than the ones that came with the original game. Let's see if I can get these to show up well. So there are all the different male characters, the male romance options, as well as the two main female characters. Oh. A bit hard to see with all this stuff in the background and the fact that it's not focusing. Come on. <laughs> okay, hopefully that's better. <laughs> anyway, those are the stickers, which I love. So they are definitely worth the price, a few hundred yen of this game, even if I didn't buy the game yet. Again, here's the first set, since it might have not showed up very well earlier. I don't think I could ever bring myself to use these, so I will just save them. <laughs> Then we have Kiss Kiss Seiren Gakuen. This is also based on a girl's manga, shoujo manga series. This one's by Bandai, which is interesting. It was very cheap to pick up. And even though the box art isn't quite as cute as some of the other games that I have, it's a bit plain comparatively. I kind of want to check it out because I like Otome games and I figured this would be similar. But no cute flap art or anything and the sides are pretty boring so we'll move on quickly to my very favorite and first Game Boy Advance game Japanese Game Boy Advance game Mr. Driller A come on how cute is this box it's like <laughs> the most adorable box I've ever seen I remember seeing it and thinking like I you know why do I need a Japanese GBA game I don't know and I don't care but I love the box and I need to have it so I bought it when I was in Japan quite a while ago, and that was the start of my collection. See, this one's got the cute flap art too. It will focus. The lighting's pretty bad, sorry. <laughs> there you go, this cute little slime guy. I'm not sure what he's called. And I have played this one, so I have played a fair bit of this one. I'm not an experienced Mr. Driller player, but I enjoy this game quite a bit. It's really cute. The graphics are just as cute as the box art. <laughs> New essence. So that's Mr. Driller in his normal form, and then for some reason he gets a whole bunch of armor in this game. I think he like goes into space. I kind of forget. 
Anyway, who cares? It's cute. Doesn't need to make sense. <laughs> Here are some of the other characters. And as I mentioned earlier, I did get this one quite a long time ago, but I didn't actually decide to start collecting other Japanese GBA games complete in box until a few years ago when I really got into it. And now here's my collection. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And leave me a comment below if you have any game related collections. I'd love to hear about them. Thanks and I'll see you next time.